probably know or have heard the name Michael Capone from his work in nightlife, but he's anything but one-dimensional. The Capone Construction Group, for example, is why we're watching a helicopter transport a swim spa from here to here. The Capone brand has branched out. He's the president of a group of businesses that offer up one-stop shopping for everything home, inside and out. For example, the construction company built these uh, wood panels Right. And then the design company kind of designed the concept of this bed, which, which is all like built in and integrated into the wall. And then the furniture company, Capone Casa, like does the actual panels made of fabric and everything, you know. So it helps when you have all the different companies, so we don't really have to go outside the box ever. So how did this party-throwing maven go from late nights to early morning job site checks? By throwing a party, of course. Greg Coven and architect Chad Oppenheim about five years ago um, asked me to uh, get involved with a building in downtown called 10 Museum Park and um, you know we sold the building out really really quickly I think we sold it out in nine days before the sales office was built in that great time before the real estate market collapsed but it sold it got built and you know people closed on the units thank God and um, after that, you know, it really spawned my interest. The goal of the Capone Group? Get it done twice as fast as anyone else can. You can watch their speed right from their website, following their progress from beginning to end. Don't take this to mean he's turned his back on his first calling. The benefits of keeping his night job are clear. If I ask myself, I'm building, say, 15 houses right now, how many of those, out of those 15, did I meet through the nightlife industry? Probably 80% of them. Plus, he's really good at it. Been doing it since the early 90s. Remember Warsaw Room, which is now Jerry's Deli? He's been responsible for too many events and parties to mention, and there's no end in sight. Plunge at Gansbort South is where we caught up with him and their GM that seemed pleased that there is no end in sight. It's a name above names, basically, on the beach. Um, since I've been here, just nothing but an amazing party. His draw, it's, even if he's here or not, the place is still packed. He's seen all the different cycles of South Beach and has had several of his own. The Jim Morrison drug years are well documented. The good news is he's feeling South Beach is at the end of an overly materialistic, selfish, and show-off era. Which brings us to Christmas in July, when the Miami Rescue Mission tries to bait the homeless in with a meal, a present, and entertainment. The goal is to get them to check into the center to begin rebuilding their lives. That takes money, commitment, and contacts. Enter Michael Capone. I'll ask Sharif from The Forge to donate uh, buses, and the buses will go around town and pick the homeless people up off the street and actually bring them to the center. Uh, I'll send out emails, and maybe a hundred or so volunteers, you know, will come and like join that we know that are friends of ours. I'll personally sponsor the uh, children's playground out there and, you know, things like that with my own money. And then there's his help with the medical center. Well, tell me, Marilyn, what do you really need? And I said, you know what we need? I said, we are on the verge of starting a medical clinic, but our big hang-up is we have this building and um, we need to get it up to code and we need to get it ready and I said it's you know probably be about thirty thousand dollars I don't know you know that that's a big chunk of change and uh, right there on the sidewalk got on his cell phone called his contractor and said I want you to come over here I want you to look what needs to be done I want you to start this project and get it going for them and and he did that his events and parties are exclusive. His charity work is about being just the opposite. The Capone Group adds another layer of depth to him. And then there's his latest passion, traveling around the world, researching and exploring ancient ruins and sacred landscapes. One dimensional, he is not.